Hey team, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our AI solution, our AI based data extraction solution to not only extract relevant data from external documents into your required accurate spreadsheet format, but also to populate some values into your spreadsheet even though those values don't live in the actual PDF or image or document you are processing itself. So um, a very relevant example that simplifies the explanation of this functionality is invoices, right? So for, for this example, it's an invoice that I received. And like many clients of ours that are doing invoice processing, I want to get the invoice number, date due, line item description, line item quantity, line item amount due, total invoice amount, vendor name. I'm also going to output the name of the file that I'm, I'm getting this data from with this ads file name variable. And I want to populate this internal invoice code, which is what a lot of people do. You know, they have invoice codes they internally assign for specific vendors for their internal accounting purposes and reconciliation purposes. But the invoice codes don't live in the actual invoices sent to people, right? So how am I gonna populate a specific invoice code for a specific vendor if that, in, if that invoice code is internal so it's not living in the PDF sent to me by the vendor? That's where this really neat, very exciting AI functionality comes in. So I'm gonna press this extract data button and you'll notice that one of my extra instructions is if the vendor is mail reach, I'll put one A for internal invoice code, okay? So the way I've set up this tool I've set it up in a manner that will output one spreadsheet output row per line item. So I should get two spreadsheet output rows, I should get two, along with all or including all the unique line item data, like the amounts, and including parent level data like invoice number, which are non-unique to each line item. And since this is just one vendor's invoice, just mail reach, Based off this extra instruction here, I should output 1A for both rows of each line item that I'm outputting or that I'm extracting data for. So let's try it. Let me reset the status for this invoice. Let me press extract. Boom. This is all right, this is all right, this is all right. Yep, yep, vendor name is also right. File name is also right. Oh, by the way, yeah, you can output the name of the file um, that you're extracting data from if you use this syntax at file name and press enter. You can put it on a column header or you can put it directly here in the tool itself. Um, but we see the internal invoice code was outputted as 1A for each row for each line item, which is correct, right? I have two line, line items here. They're both from the mail reach vendor. And based off my extra instructions, because of that, I should output, because of the vendor's mail reach, I should output 1A for the internal invoice code. So that shows you how you can leverage the extra instructions for the AI to not just extract the data you want from external documents and populate them into an accurate spreadsheet format in a clean spreadsheet format, but also to populate certain values that you want in the spreadsheet based on some rules that you have, even though those values may not or definitely do not live in the document itself that you are extracting data from. I love it. Um, this has been super valuable for a lot of our clients. Please give it a try and reply to this email if you need any help.